Today I'm going to teach you how to troll. So first, you want to start your kicker motor or any motor that you got that will go about as slow as like 2 miles per hour is where you want to be. So that will get me going 2 miles per hour. I have it hooked up to the big motor so I can steer it here. And uh, if you get this app called Troll Master, you can select your baits and it will tell you how many feet back and then based on how deep it is so where I'm fishing it's about five to four feet deep and so we're gonna be running around like 23 feet back so first you're gonna wanna grab your rod I'm using flicker sheds number five uh, you can use any type of flicker shed, um, you use hot and tots, uh, Rapala, basically anything that will just kind of get down there and makes sort of like a rattling noise will work. So my troll master says to put it around 23, I'm going to put it around 20, then I'm going to grab my planter board. It's always good to write your name and a uh, phone number they can reach you at in case you lose one. Take it, put it through here, wrap it around once so it's nice and secure. And you clip this on with a little bit of slack. Make sure your flag's up. Then you set her down. And then you can put your clicker on and put her in your slot. And usually, I just let it go about to 100 feet back or so, since that's my farthest one out. And then you just restart the process. So it's about at like 90 or something, that's good enough for now. And this one, you can also tip your baits a little bit with a, some worm. Give her a little extra traction. That's a flicker shad number seven. So I'm gonna look on my troll master quick. Go to the number seven flicker shad. And it says put around 15 feet back. So we'll let her out 15 feet. Grab your board. Wrap it around. And then you're good to go. Flop her in. Let her out. Put the clicker on if you want. I'm gonna switch to a number five flicker shad. So you just unclip it, you got your snap swivel here, you just tie it directly. And then I have a whole box of my flicker sheds. Usually, if your water is murky, not so clear you want brighter bits and if it's clear you can use something that might look like a crayfish or something um, on my lake usually purple and like yellow something like this will work pretty good so I'm gonna try that so you just put her in the loop Sometimes it's a pain to get on there. Put her in that loop. Make sure it's secure. And just toss her out. And you let her out to about 20 since we're in about four to five feet of water.
have your board. Put her in and around. Bam. And you let her up. Where I'm from, you're only allowed to have three rods out per person. So I'm just running all three on one side. You could run them on that side, it doesn't really matter. And we're only allowed five walleyes a day per person. And I think one northern you're allowed to keep. So you'll know the fish attacks it. Flags kind of work. You'll more see a motion where your board will be like this. And it just goes like, comes back. And you know you have fish. And sometimes if you got a big northern or something, It'll just suck it right under. So that's how you know you have a fish, and uh, that's how you pretty much troll for a walleye and other fish. I can make a wildfire get away.